what it do. Come on now. It's Sunday day out here like it always is, man. It's Saturday evening today. But anyway, come on now. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know who it is. Support K Team. Y'all back on that channel, man. Anyway, I got a dope video I'm finna go do for y'all guys today. I'm actually about to go get my uh, oil change. This will actually be my second oil change, but it'll be my first of y'all. But without further ado on that, I got that uh, oil catch can I had put on here. So we also gonna take a look and see if that oil catch can is actually worth the buy too as well. But anyway, if y'all new to the channel, come on, man. Go and hit that subscribe button, man. You know, ain't no reason to subscribe, but to still be read to some of y'all folks, man. Except for you new. Second oil change, because I got, what, 10,000 miles on the car? But it'd be my first to y'all. And then, hopefully, this oil catch can is really worth the buy. I'm hoping it is, too. And, hey, once I get there, y'all already know it's three things. Come on, man. Y'all already know it's some three things. It's lights, it's the camera. And then, if you didn't know, then we're bringing in lightning, because it's all about that action. I'll see y'all there. All right, you guys, I make it to this. I made it to the spot that I get my oil changed at over here in Grand Perry. We got the little car wash over here with the little service center right there. And they use that mobile one. Let's go in here and see what's up. All right. Everybody on lunch break or what? I guess I help myself. This is what I made right here, Mobile One Lube Express. Of 35 a 3055 Mayfield Road of Highway 360 for auto service center. But that don't do us no justice if anybody ain't in here. So we can find somebody. Everybody gone like it's closed out here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, what's going on? Uh, I was trying to see if I get my uh, oil change for this car. You bet. Okay, we're working on the truck right now. It should be about five minutes. About five so. minutes. That's fine. Be down before they take a look about the process of oil and stuff. It's, it's in the inside? Inside the office. Inside? See which oil you want. Okay. Oh, I'm boozy. He said he ain't the oil I want. Let me see what's up. So we take a look over there. Zoom this in. See if y'all see that. Wait, wow. Price is right there. So mobile one to be the 75, mobile super synthetic 59, up to five quarts. Mobile super high mileage 49, up to five quarts. Well, you already know. I'm going to pay for that top dollar. I need that 75. I need that advanced full synthetic. You feel me? So as soon as we come over here, we're going to let them know. We need that advanced synthetic. They bring the storm in. That's what they be working at in the bottom down there. Bottomless pit right there. Look at Storm looking good, being pulled up into the oil chain bay. Everybody up here getting their cars washed, ready for the weekend. Boy, hey, hand washing the car, boy, that'd be some work right there. I tell you, especially when it's dirty, dirty, like after a bad, rainy storm, oh my God. Talking about hard work. All right, so he's already started on the bottom of the oil chain down there. So dude, I'm running the car already. But one thing about it, uh, the reason I'm also sitting here is because I like to watch my oil being changed because I've had a lot of friends, uh, 
a couple family members I also have heard horror stories you know throughout the years how you can come to these oil changing places and then sometimes you know they try to you know scam you and don't really change your oil you know what I'm saying which which isn't good for your car then not only that you know you got the chance of them putting your oil filter back on loosely not fully all the way and I actually had a friend of mine who actually had a uh, charge as well who actually got his oil changed and then the place he took it to didn't put his oil filter out back on so he was driving it running it, of course racing it come on that's a charger there wasn't no v6 either no not shot no no uh <laughs> disrespect to the v6s but you know what i'm saying you know it's a v8 so he was racing and doing his thing and one thing led to another and he ended up uh, running all the oil about the car and it actually blew his motor you know which we all know that's what happens we don't have no oil in the car you blow your motor and once you blow your more bush once you blow uh, once you blow your motor then you gotta go to the dealership and fight with them about the warranty especially when you didn't do the oil change with them then you gotta go back and forth trying to prove that it wasn't you that blew the motor that it was actually the dealership or the uh oil service place you took it to well, it was their fault so you gotta go with that house and you may or might not get a cover you feel what i'm saying and that's too much you know wear and tear on your mind to be hoping and praying that the motor is covered on the warranty or the shop that did it you know what i'm saying is that fault and then you blow your motor then all of a sudden you know it's almost like you're out of a car and then you know of course i pay good money for this car just like you you guys do and to be out of a motor just because of a simple oil change you know i don't want to have that you know that's scared and another thing what i also do is after i get my oil changed even though i'm sitting here looking you know I pull up in my driveway in like the first couple of days and stuff, or depending on how I'm driving, I'll, I'll look up under the car to make sure there's no oil leak. And I also check my oil myself. I pull a dipstick check and make sure the oil level is right and make sure it's bright too, you know what I'm saying? If the oil is dark and I just got a change, come on now. You know, we all know that oil, that oil won't change properly. So uh, those are little things that, you know, you guys can probably incorporate in the service of your vehicle, you know, just be more aware and, and when you get your oil changed, even if you drop it out to the dealership, you know, be more attentive of your, you know, surroundings dealing with your car and just kind of notice little things like drops of oil or check your oil right out there, you get a change just to make sure it's nice and neat on the dipstick, you know what I'm saying? Definitely don't want to go through one of them blow your motor scares and then you can't prove that it wasn't your fault, then you out of $6,000 for another motor. <laughs> you talking about to be an angry soul. I probably won't have none. But anyway, y'all see the oil catch can right here on top. That silver deal right there. Uh, I'm gonna get it to the house. Um, I don't stay too far from here. I'm gonna get it to the house and unscrew that. Then we're gonna make sure that that oil catch can is doing its job. Because that's what's also important here is that the oil catch can is keeping the oil from running through the intake runner, which, you know, over time will clog up the runners cause detonation in the motor causes cloggish then you know you might not be having the correct airflow and make your, your motor run horrible be shaking like a stripper <laughs> gasping for air and ain't getting none because you got a little oil and gunk stuck in there because you know you let all dry heat dry heat dry heat it becomes gunk so that little device right there i got it at summer race it was like 120 dollars or something like that could be the difference between you adding parts to your motor <laughs> your way or adding parts to your motor <laughs> because of some you could have easily took care of which you don't want to do you know you can be forced to add parts you don't want to add that's already on the car me i like adding parts that i want to add <laughs> for performance especially so just be mindful of that Yeah, so Gotta make sure you get the right oil in there now. Definitely need no mishap because of the wrong viscosity of oil. Alright you guys, besides that little glare right there, y'all see coming from the windshield, from the sun, y'all see my oil level is now at 100%. Alright, so, fresh oil, 
fresh oil change. The car be ready to rock and roll now. I can do my little street racing and track racing now. I feel much better now. So now I'm about to get to the house um, and actually pull the dish fit, check the oil, as well as uh, pulling the, the twist can from the uh, oil catch can and seeing if the oil catch can is worth this buy for a Hemi. He asked me was he gonna all be cut. He asked me was he gonna all be cut. He asked me was he gonna all be cut. He asked me was he gonna all be cut. It moved. That sign moved. It was the sign fault. <laughs> yeah, I got in my way. <laughs> <laughs> well, he asked me was he gonna be on YouTube. That cop been busy, man. Oh, y'all seen him had a car pulled over. That's yeah. the second one uh, in like 15 minutes. <laughs> all right. See you on YouTube, man. All right. Appreciate it. Right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, KT, and I'm back here. It's another day. As I can see, it's, I'm out here sweating. The sun is beating me to death. <laughs> Just a little bit, though. But anyway, I'm back here after the oil change right here. As you can see, um, I want to kind of wait, let the engine cool. So, hey, that's what I did. So, now we're going to... Um, check the oil as well as pull off this oil catch can right here and we're going to actually see if this oil catch can is actually worth the buy so first thing first let's pull this dipstick okay bring it up to the camera and the light the oil right there is fresh it has a light brown texture to it and that's what you want to see you don't want to see any dark specs especially if the oil was just changed and then it's at the proper level as well you can see right there it says it's right right there where it says safe so everything is good okay so let me wipe this off and then i'll get back on here and then we'll pull the oil catch can all right you guys i finally got it somewhat loosened and pretty much it is kind of almost reverse thread so it's right Loosen left to tighten when you're looking at it. So, the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing has anything in it. But before we do this, uh, I want everybody to go down to the uh, comment box and then tell me if, how much oil you think is in this catch can, if there's any. And let me know what your uh, thoughts is on the uh, oil catch can for the Hemis. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Unscrew. We're about to find out in three, two, one, zero. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow. Look at that. It is quite a bit in here. It ain't full, but it's quite a bit. And what you're saying is this oil and this catch can is what goes into this intake after I run my vehicle over miles and miles. And the intake is needed to uh, breathe for the air. Uh, I mean, just based on what I believe, this catch can is, is, is worth it to me. If this oil is possibly going through them intake runners and them intake runners is used for air, um, how would the air even flow with this oil being caught through there, caught through there over miles and miles and periods of time? Because like I said, oil does nothing but turn into gunk when it heats and cools, heats and cools after a long period of time. And I'm pretty sure that that oil is, is supposed to go to the in, go through the intake runners and be back and then go back through the engine somehow to be burnt. But all this oil isn't gonna make it back to the engine block to be burned. I, I, I'm sorry, it, some oil is gonna get stuck to the runners and then be you know beating cows gunk and clogged up runners. So uh, me personally, just off what I see now. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm taking the oil catch can every time. Um, so I hope that answers 
any of you guys' questions on whether you think the oil catch can is worth the uh, buy, I, I absolutely believe it is. <laughs> it's a must buy. It's, um, I don't know why Dodge didn't incorporate this on the car, but um, yeah, that's, wow. I'm shot for words. That's what, 5,000 miles worth of driving. So another five, which is recommended. It says change it every 10,000. It's going to be at the top. I'm going to change it every oil change. I mean, just to be safe because I've been in forgot. Boo, all of a sudden, <laughs> the oil, I'm pretty sure, if it fills up, I'll be then shot through this hose through the runners anyway just by letting it fill up. So I recommend every oil change. Uh, I'm not letting that thing fill up to the top. But um, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all those good things and good nature. And also, um, hey, man, like I say, we the mob, we the family. Storm 392 gang, MMK gang. Hey, I just appreciate y'all for rocking with me. And I hope y'all guys like this uh, content I just dropped for y'all. And hey, we're going to stay bringing that lightning, that thunder videos.